the first thing you're going to need is your registration code. So you will need to go ahead and create an account with PreSearch. And once you create an account, click on nodes and it'll bring you to this page and you can click launch a node. If you click launch a node, it should bring you to a page where you get to your email and your information that you've signed in with up here. And then they will get with you with a registration code within 48 hours. So it will take about 48 hours to get a registration code. You can buy pre-search on this website and it will the tokens will appear in your wallet so you can they'll be ready for you to create a node um, you can just go here to buy tokens and then click buy tokens and it'll bring you to this marketplace and you can purchase with usd from your bank account or you can use ethereum or bitcoin and the tokens will appear right here in your wallet ready for you to create your node or if you do decide to use an exchange, which uh, is Qcoin is the exchange that everyone is using. If you decide to use Qcoin, you can, let's go back to presearch.org so you'll know where we're at. You can go to nodes and then go to click up here and then go to transfer tokens. And then once you click from blockchain, it'll give you an address. If not, it's gonna say generate address. You can click that and it'll give you an address to send your pre-tokens to. Now that your tokens are in your wallet here, you will see your token balance and your token balance should be up here also. Um, you And you have a registration code, then you're ready to start. So we're gonna move on to the first step in getting prepared to create this node. First thing you need to do is create a notepad on your desktop. Um, if you're on Mac, you probably need to create a, uh, a note. So whatever you need to do for your computer, this setup is for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So pre-search commands and save that note. Go ahead and open it and leave it open because we're going to go grab the commands. Go on over to presearch.org and click on nodes. And once you're registered, clicking on launch a node should bring you to this page here. And once you get to this page, you'll need these node start commands. So click on number three, node start commands. And once you get to this page, scroll down. So if you're on, if you're on Linux or Mac, make sure to use this command. If you're on Windows, you need this command. I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna use this command for this explanation. Copy the full command all the way from beginning to end and make sure to not copy the empty space before the command in the beginning. Make sure not to grab any extra space and highlight it. And so go back to your desktop where your pre-search command notes are and paste that command there. And then we're gonna go back to our browser and go back to presearch.org and find our registration code. So go to nodes and then go up here and click manage nodes. No, 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 no. Yeah, you could click manage nodes. Click manage nodes and then it'll bring you here to your registration code. Hopefully you already have your pre in your account so you'll be ready and copy the registration code. Minimize this. Now when you get back here, you have to be particular and make sure you do this the right way. Don't copy the space behind the last word so you won't um, erase it. All right, so highlight from the dollar sign all the way to the E on your registration code here. So start at the dollar sign, highlight the dollar sign because it has to go away too. Highlight all the way to the end of here, but don't get the empty space behind here because it'll mess you up. Just get here, hit backspace, and then paste your registration code there. Right click, paste. And so this is the command that you will need to run in your command prompt when you're setting up your node. So go ahead and save it and leave it open. I have a link down below in the description for a Rack Nerds VPS. I recommend you use this server. Their quality service is incredible and they have a server right now for $22.99 a year, which is roughly $1.92 a month. I recommend you choose this and not only choose it, use my link below. It is an affiliate link, 
but it will direct you directly to this server, which already is you bump to 18.04, which you need for this pre-search node, and it already has Docker installed. So this is an exclusive deal right here. I, I recommend you click on the link and um, go ahead and hit continue and purchase this server. And if you need, and you have to pr pr create a server for every node. So if you have 10 nodes, you need 10 servers. So keep that in mind and um, go ahead and, and create this. And once you create the server, you will get an email from Rack Nerds with your login information for your server. Once you receive the email with the login information for your server, you're ready to move forward with the next step, which is almost the end of um, setting up this node. So minimize the screen. All you need to do is make sure you can see your IP address, your username and your password. And so we're gonna go ahead and leave this open. We need this open. And so now we're gonna find our command prompt. So go to your search bar and type in CMD for your command prompt and that is on Windows. If you're on Mac, you need to search for your terminal. It shouldn't be that hard to find it. If you can't find it, go take a break and go to YouTube and search for a video that helps you find your terminal on the Mac or Linux or whatever type of device you're on. But um, for Windows, it's command prompt, but it will work this way for all of these. So go ahead and copy your IP address from the server you got from Rack Nerds. And go back over to your command prompt and type in SSH space R O O T and put the at symbol like at Gmail, stuff like that. And right click and it will paste your uh, IP address and hit enter. And then it asks you for the password. Now mine went directly to the password because I already allowed it, but yours might ask you to enter yes or no. If you want to allow this yourself to tap into your server, just in type yes and press enter. But right here, you didn't get that. Um, I didn't get that um, notification because I already did it. And so come back here and highlight your password and copy it. And when you go back here, you're gonna right click, just one right click. Make sure you open this up. Don't open it with the right click. Open it first and then right click and it pastes your password. Now you don't see it. It doesn't show your password. Um, it's that tricky like that. So but just press enter after you hit that right click. Make sure you do it just like that. If not, start over and do it again and it should work. And press enter and it should log you into your server. Now you already have Docker installed, so you can skip that step if you've done this before. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and open up our notepad and copy this entire command from the end to the beginning and paste that into here. Now make sure you open the terminal before you paste it because it'll not do it. So then right click and it should paste that command there. And all you have to do here is press enter. And there you are, you've installed your node. So once this finishes downloading, I'm going to go over to the pre-search website and show you the node we just installed, how you find that node. All right, so you can close out all of this, save this because you can use the same command for each of your nodes. All you have to do is repeat the same process. You just need a new server each time, a new IP address, open your command prompt or your terminal, enter the SSH root with the at symbol and paste the IP address, type in yes, hit enter, and then type in your password and then just paste your command into the terminal and press enter. And so we're gonna go back to how that turned out. Let me refresh this page. And there you are, there's a node I just set up, the one with no name to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stake so in order to start receiving rewards, you must be staking at least 1,000 pre to each of these nodes. So that is today on October 2nd. Um, as most of us may know or have heard, I'm not sure if you're new to this and haven't heard this, but on October 8th, the minimum amount of pre to create a node will go up to 2,000 pre. 
So maybe by the time you see this video, it is 2000 pre, but right now it is 1000. So I'm gonna go ahead and name this pre-search node five. This is the fifth one I have here. I hit update. And then it says update and it's done. So go back to node list and boom, I have 5,000 pre-staking. And now I have um, five nodes running. I just wanna give a bonus tip from my perspective. Um, so a lot of people want to know if it is more beneficial to stake all of your pre to one node or to run multiple nodes. So let me answer that from my perspective. Um, from what I understand, it is more beneficial to have multiple nodes because this increases your chance for getting more searches. If you have one node, you're um, reaching the capacity of one node that gets the amount of searches that that node gets. Even if you have all those pre-stacked to that node, it, 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 you know, it decreases your chance then rather than having those multiple nodes. So if I have 5,000 pre and I stake them all to one node, then I only have one node running, which brings in the amount of rewards, one node, well, the amount of searches that one node does. So if I have five nodes, I have five different nodes bringing in five different amounts of searches, which increases my chance for rewards. Not to mention the uh, minimum amount to make one of these nodes will increase on October 8th. And that just makes it even more um, reason why you should want to have multiple nodes and before the increase to create more nodes. And over time, it just makes more sense because it will continue to increase, obviously. So that is just my tip. And another tip, I think it is a good idea to claim your rewards in the meantime. So I'm not gonna claim this because it's 0 0.3, but as you can see, I have one extra pre up here. So since we know that staking more pre to nodes increases the rewards for that node, it makes sense to stake all of your rewards to nodes that way you can increase your chance, your rewards for, for nodes and until you can create a new node. So if you had enough pre to stake up to, like I had 999 pre staked in one of my nodes until these pre added up to one more pre and I was able to make a thousand pre and make another node. So until you get enough to make another node, stake your rewards to your nodes and that increases your rewards over time. 